inside details of Manish Sisodia's custody that has been accessed by us. CBI to ask the court for judicial custody is what we are learning. CBI is not going to be asking for extension of police custody, which means that if the CBI has its way, Manish Sisodia could be in custody for 14 days because that essentially is what judicial custody. It may or may not be an extension. The CBI doesn't want extension. It's got an extension since the, since the 4th of March uh, for two days, essentially, uh, which is in fact uh, for, for two days after the 4th of March when his custody actually ended with the CBI and they got two more days with the Deputy Chief Minister, former Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi. Now, Manish Sisodia's custody, the CBI is actually going to push for it, for a JC. A judicial custody, which means a good 14 days, is what the CBI is keen at or is looking at and is going to be pressing for this. These are details of Sisodia's custody that CBI wants to ask for. CBI is wanting JC for Mani Sisodia, judicial custody. CBI is not going to be asking for extension of police custody, so which means it may not be uh, a piecemeal two days or three days or four days if the CBI were to have its way. The CBI is going to make a case for JC or judicial custody of Manish Sisodia. Extended custody to an extent of this being translated to a JC or a judicial custody and not extended police custody. That's what the CBI wants. These are details that we're getting of the investigations in this alleged scam. This is the Delhi excise scam as is being alleged. CBI now is seeking JC or judicial custody for Manish Sisodia. Manish has more details. On that, Manish, the reasons why a JC is now being demanded and if at all the CBI to, were to get it, it's going to be a good 14 days for Manish Sisodia then. Yeah, well, Sneha, we have been given to understand is that uh, today, the, when Manish Sisodia will be produced before the court, the Central Bureau of Investigation will be asking for judicial custody of Manish Sisodia, which means that he will be sent to judicial custody for 14 days, and it possibly means that Manish Sisodia will also spend his holy inside the Har jail and not in the CBI custody or ED custody. Also, we have been given to understand is that once he is in judicial custody, the uh, enforcement directorate may ask for um, uh, a police custody of Mr. Manish Sodia, which essentially means that after CBI custody is over, this, uh, the enforcement directorate will step in and on 9th of uh, March, we have been given to understand is that the ED will be filing an application to get custody of Manish Sodia and why it becomes important because uh, Manish Sodia's bail application will be heard on 10th of March. If ED takes the custody, then bail application will be postponed. So possibly it means that Manish Sodia, uh, you know, will be in uh, in the custody of ED or Tihar jail for a few more days at least. Also, in terms of investigation, we have been given to understand is that uh, Manish Sodia has so far been confronted with four material evidence in the case, which means that four uh, accused suspects and witnesses in the case. Apart from that, he was uh, questioned extensively about uh, the missing files uh, regarding the excise policy, the draft copy of excise policy mm -hmm. and certain other uh, decisions which Manish Sodia had, has taken, okay. had taken at that point of time as excise minister. All right, Manish Amudu, thank you for the moment for getting us all of those details. We put up this reaction of Saurabh Bhardwaj now. Listen in. This is the और इसके बाद मुझे लगता है कि कोर्ट जो है कस्टोडियल इंटरोगेशन के लिए तैयार नहीं होंगे क्योंकि सीबीआई कोई ठोस कारण नहीं बता पा रहा है कि उनको इंटरोगेशन क्यों चाहिए मुझे लगता है कि आज जो है कस्टोडियल इंटरोगेशन खत्म होगी और मनीष जी को जुडिशियल कस्टडी के अंदर जो है भेजा जाएगा ताकि 10 तारीख को जो उनकी बेल एप्लीकेशन है उसको जो है कोर्ट जो है 10 तारीख को डिसाइड करें